The purpose of this video is to show you how to wire the SPD100 handle switch assembly that you previously installed in the housing. Again, we're going to use the same housing that's mod uh, mounted in our shop so you can get a clean look of how everything should look. This step picks up after you've already pulled your eight wires from the junction box through the reset assembly, it's in the chase here, and up into the top of the dispenser. And you've already fished down the two blues, yellow and violet wires that come from the wiring harness from the CPU. As you can see here from an earlier step as well, the E and the F wires have been marked coming from your valve assembly. E being your slow flow, F being your fast flow, and this wire here, the black wire, is the unmarked wire that we refer to that used to be on the old motor switch, and that supplies hot continuously to your, uh, your valve assembly. So I'll move those out of the way just a moment. You're going to want to take your uh, two blue wires and route them through your chase just for a fit here, and get them to where they can connect on the bottom two connections of your new handle switch assembly. And once you know those will make it, we'll just strip those away. And in your kit, you have two female spade connections. That is what these are for. Just crimp that in place using the proper tool. Polarity does not matter on these two, it's just a closed contact type connection. So uh, you want to take one of your sets of wires and attach it on the bottom. And the other wire is going to be in the middle. Make sure you get a good connection there. Now the final two wires that you have are your yellow and purple. The yellow wire provides slow flow power, or slow flow neutral rather, to your slow flow valve assembly. So you're going to want to take your E wire that you had marked earlier, route your yellow, and we prefer to have you cut these to where you can uh, safely attach them in this area here or over to the left of where your switch assembly is. So you want to cut those to fit. Your kit's also going to have wire nuts in included, and that is what that is for. Now you're going to take your violet wire, cut to the same length, and your F wire, just cut it to the same length there, kind of roughly mark it. Now you have the black wire that was on the switch before. This has to provide continuous hot to your assembly. In the set of eight wires that you pulled through your chase, you're going to find a black wire. You want to pull that out and pull just a little bit of slack on that. and then cut that in half. And this spade connector, once we mark kind of where our wires are going to lay, you'll want to cut that off. Strip all of this. All right, now, all your wiring connections have been made. It's very important that you get all these wires into the chase area so that nothing can be pinched. 
when you put your cover back on, anything that gets in the way and pinches could cause permanent damage to the SPD-100 kit, CPU electronics, or could, uh, could cause injury. So um, we've included some zip ties here for you just to kind of zip tie all this in and get it tight. I recognize this is easier to do on a bench, but uh, it is very important that you take special care in making sure that all this is installed properly um, so that you can provide your customer with a good working piece of equipment. Just kind of tuck that down in there. Then I would take these final connections here and just so tie those down, and get them out of the way. Again, taking care that none of this, these two connectors here become unplugged. Make that final zip tie there. And just kind of clean up the installation a little bit. And that's how that should look at the end. The final part of the reset installation and modification uh, before you put your cover back on that you modified earlier is to check the operation of your switch here, which we can see that that operates still well. The final uh, step here is to put some type of a packing, be it uh, duct seal compound or fiber packing, whatever you prefer to use. Um, we need to put that in this pipe to keep your Chico from dripping um, the piping compound and stuff from dripping down inside the switch later on in the installation. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and stuff it in there really tight. Just so make sure you get it uh, all the way around the pipes and up in there really, really well. And now with that in there, you're safe to take your modified cover that we removed the uh, worm plate and all that off of earlier. Um, again, one other thing to note here is this cover did have the motor and stuff removed. You can do that prior to if you may want to keep those for uh, service parts in your service truck for another site with mechanical computers or you can um, uh, leave them in there. It doesn't matter. There's enough clearance in here. So once again, we're going to check make sure all the wires are clear. Nothing's going to hit. Our switch works. Our conduit has been uh, rather uh, packed there so we know we won't drip anything in. And this will fit right on. If it catches, just kind of wiggle it a little until it falls into place. And after putting your bolts in, that will complete your installation.